Welcome to another Last Hour Bereans, Last Days Update, where we discuss Bible prophecy, expose the wolves and false teachings that have crept into the church, declaring the soon return of the Lord, first for His church in the air, and then with His church at the end of the tribulation. Look up for our redemption. Welcome, my friends, to another LHB Last Days Update Wolf Watch Edition. If you guys are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way, every time we upload a video, you guys are notified. Don't forget to like and share the video as that helps us to circulate around YouTube. Now, um, <clears throat> have you heard Kenneth Copeland's non-prayer prayer? No? Well, here it is. Take a look. There are certain things I know that someone has to ask you before you can, before you may get involved in the affairs of human beings on this earth. What the hell did you just say? Certain things I know that someone has to ask you before you can, before you may get involved in the affairs of human beings on this earth because you gave this earth to your man, Adam, giving authority to men and women. And in the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of war. What is your major malfunction? And I bind the spirit of fear. I pray for the Ukrainian leaders, and the Russian leaders. <laughs> and the leaders of other nations that might be involved the leaders of the United States. And I pray all these things in the name of Jesus and because of that name, I expect it to come to pass. Well, okay. So <laughs> Kenneth Copeland uh, is at it again. Okay. He is binding the spirit of war and the spirit of fear. And uh, he's done this before, uh, you know, at least with the spirit of fear. But for some reason, the spirit of fear keeps getting unbound. So I don't know how many times you got to bind them, uh, but uh, apparently the chain that you're using to bind them is very weak because he keeps getting loose. Uh, but notice that he said a few things here in his uh, declaration. He said, number one, that God can't do anything without our permission. He said that in the beginning of the clip. You know, that God has to have a man ask him to intervene in order for him to intervene because that dominion of the earth was given to Adam. Um, that's heresy. That's blasphemy. God doesn't need a permission, our permission to do anything. He can do whatever he wants to do. He's God. You know, uh, he didn't need permission to flood the world. He didn't need permission to create the world. He, do he doesn't need permission to send anybody to hell. He doesn't need permission for the second coming. God can do whatever God wants to do. This is God's universe, his creation, not Kenneth Copeland's. And the fact that he is, that Kenneth Copeland is so arrogant that he believes that God needs our permission to interfere in uh, human history is absurd. Okay. And the binding, again, binding of the, the spirit of fear and war. You know, obviously this man is not a Christian because he would know, if he were a Christian, he would know his Bible. The Bible gives out a, a chronological, detailed, prophetic outline of what's going to happen with certain nations in the last days that we're living in. Russia will be defeated as they try to invade Israel in the last days, right? They will be defeated right there, it says in Ezekiel 38, on the mountains of Israel. Okay, so we know that that's how they're going to go down when they attack the Holy Land. Okay, um, 
we also know that the only person that can bind the devil, literally bind the devil, is Jesus Christ, which he will do at the second coming. So if Kenneth Copeland knew his Bible, okay, um, he would know this, and he would know that we cannot decree, declare, or bind any kind of crazy spirits out there, okay? Um, but apparently, the only thing that Copeland knows from the Bible is how to misquote the Bible, right? How to misquote it and how to take it out of context. That's what he knows how to do and how to use it for his own filthy liqueur or filthy gain, okay? So don't listen to Kenneth Copeland. This is not a prayer, okay? This is a, a con man that works for the enemy of our souls, Satan himself. So until next time, my friends, look up. Our redemption draws near. Maranatha and God bless. And by the way, you guys pray for the, Ukra the Christians in Ukraine and the Christians in Russia. You guys go to the Father in true prayer, just like I will be doing. Until next time, my friends, Maranatha and God bless.